Hello and thank you for joining us here at HouseProMinistry.net once again. Um, it's Mother's Day and I want to talk to you guys today about mothers. Uh, the Bible talks a lot about respecting your parents uh, in Ephesians and also in Exodus. Um, and there's a lot of things that come along with that. Some of you guys um, uh, probably would say you probably, well, I don't have a mother. Or I didn't have a mother. Well, you do. And the tough part about life when it comes to dealing with your parents, your parents made some choices for you when you were younger. And with that being said, it can be kind of tough. It can be kind of hard to go so far as to even say respect your parents uh, for the decision they made when you weren't able to make decisions. But the Bible says in Exodus 20, 12, and you can turn there for a moment if you want to. Bible says, honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. So some of you might say, well, how does that relate to Mother's Day? Well, I think of, when I think of all these different holidays uh, that are out there, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Va Valentine's Day, all these different things that are thrown out there uh, by society, a lot of people don't think about what the Word of God says. And I relate everything back to that. Holidays now seems to have taken God out of it and we need to get him back in it. So this holiday, Mother's Day, to some of you, you might say, well, Mother's Day doesn't mean anything to me because my mother wasn't there for me. So the Bible says I got to honor this person uh, and, and, and my days will he'll give me a longer time here on earth and I'll prosper by respecting my parents, my mother, uh, my father, and he'll make my days long while I'm here. Well, speaking from experience, it can be tough. Um, some of you guys didn't grow up with both parents in the household. You grew up with a father or you grew up with a mother. And for those people who did grow up with both parents in the house, how was that? How was it? Do you feel like you got a better life later on because you had both parents? Because there are a lot of homes where both parents are in the home and they still uh, probably would tell you, I, you know, it didn't really do it. I didn't have any different impact on my life. Well, I can tell you that having both parents in the home, it will impact you at a later age. Uh, and having just one parent, predominantly we might see just the mother in the household taking care of the children uh, in some cases and the father has left. Well, for all the people out there that, that would reply with, I didn't have a mother growing up, uh, my parents abandoned me or anything of that nature you have to turn to the comforter you have to turn to the comforter and if you're a younger person you might not know how to do that yet and so if you're a person who's of age now and you you did not grow up with a mother from experience i can tell you you can make it through anything you can make it through anything as long as you rely on the comforter. God can take you through any loopholes, anything that you think that is impossible. Nothing is impossible with God. A lot of people didn't grow up with both parents and a lot of people grew up with just a father. Now, while there might be predominantly more women raising their children by themselves, there are some parents out there who the father stepped up and the father did the job. To those people who whose father stepped up and decided, OK, I'm not going to I'm going to take this route. I'm going to take care of my children. You still had a mother. Whether you're you're in the physical side of things, your mother was not there. You still had a mother. Because the comforter took you through all of that. When you thought you were at your worst. The comforter was there for you. He was there. 
And a lot of times, a lot of people just don't believe because they can't see it. But the Bible clearly says faith without works is dead. So you, you have to really rely on the Holy Ghost. You have to get in your word and take everything to the comforter. Also, I want you to take a look at Ephesians 6, 2. Ephesians 6, 6, 2 says, Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. If you didn't grow up with a mother in your home, you relied heavily on your father. And your father had to become sort of both figures for you. And if you grew up with just your mother, then your mother became both figures, making them stronger in one area than another area. But I'm here to tell you from experience, if your mother was not there during the times that you needed her the most or you felt like you needed her the most, the only way that I could make it through something like that and that I made it through something like that was to rely, rely heavily in the physical sense of my father, who has now passed away. But in the spiritual sense, God pulled me through all of that. Some of you might not want to have that discussion of your parents abandoning you or they weren't there for whatever reason it may be. If you're in a situation where you needed a mom and she wasn't there in the physical sense, whether your mom passed away before when you were young, there's all types of scenarios. You still turn it over to God. I found myself later on in life, um, not having a mom full time. The way it affected me was the caring side of me. Not to say that my, my dad didn't show me how to love, uh, but women bring a nurturing side to the relationship. Women are nurturers, they're helpers to their husband. And women handle situations differently than men. A woman will guide out the situation from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and go all the way through. A man will show you and, and even if you're a woman or a man and, a fa and, a, and your father raised you, those rules can still kind of apply. I know some women that are tough because they were raised by a man. And dad said, hey, you know, you stand up for yourself. But a man will tend to go A to B or A to Z. And you need a mom to help nurture you in situations where you feel like your, your father might be a little too tough on you, whether you're a man or a woman. A mom can be there in the physical sense to help you in situations like that. When you lose that football game, your dad might just pat you on the backside and say, you better not give up next time you try harder. Well, your mom might, might hug you and say, hey, we love you. We're always gonna be here to support you. If you didn't have that, like I didn't have that, I think it affected me later on in life by not knowing how to express myself in a more sensitive way. I find myself, now that my dad has, has gone on to glory and he's gone, you know, I'm a man now. My mom is still living. She is 75, going on 76. Still looks young. But not having my mom there full time, that is how it affected me for the man that I am. I feel like I don't have a nurturing side. I don't have a sensitive side that I can push forward when I need to. But not having a mother around full time can affect everyone differently. So what do you do? You lean on the comforter. You lean on God. You tell God, you pour it all out to God and you tell him, this is what I need. This is what I want. And he will respond to what your needs are. We can tell God what we want all day, but he's going to give you what you need. He knows what you're thinking prior to even thinking it. He knows what you're getting ready to do. Everything. So you lean on the comforter 
for all the needs that the person, whether it's a mom or a father, yes, it's Mother's Day, whether it's a mom or a dad that wasn't there when you needed him the most, the comforter is there. God will never leave you, and you guys know the rest, and never forsake you. He's going to always be there for you. So in a time like this on Mother's Day, when you, you, didn't, you don't have the relationship with your mom that you feel you should, or if your mom you know, is not talking to you right now, just pray. Just pray. Because regardless of what choices your parents made when you were young and you couldn't make choices for yourself, you have an opportunity to stay right with God. You can't be mad at your parents for what they did 30 years ago, 40 years ago. You can't do it because the Bible says clearly that you need to honor your parents. And that's the first and first, first and first foremost thing. You have to honor them. We're not their judge. Whatever they did in their past is their past. It's not your future. So this Mother's Day, if you're a person that's sitting around crying, upset about something that happened with your parents a long time ago, take it to God. He can fix it long, a lot better than you think he can. Open up your heart and let God in and he'll show you that he's the comforter. You, your mom passed away already? Pray anyway. Your dad did the work? Pray anyway. Your mom's doing it all by herself? Pray anyway. You can't make your mother's or father's past your future by holding them accountable for things that happened a long time ago. Give it to God and know that he is the one that's going to make everything all right. My name is Apostle John Williams. Thank you for joining us here on HouseOfPerministry.net. There's a donation tab, a comments tab. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave a comment down below. You can submit your request, your prayer request online. We'll be happy to take care of you. Thank you for visiting and God bless.